Hey everyone, my name is Richard Taylor and this is One More Thing. How many of you have these pesky little mini DV tapes hanging around? I literally have hundreds of these. Now I'm not interested in digitizing all of them, but every once in a while I remember something that I shot on this mini DV that I'd like to bring into a current project. So what do I do? I can bring out my original MacBook Pro that has Firewire. But I thought, you know, I got this brand new 16-inch M1 Max MacBook Pro. I wonder if I could capture with this new MacBook Pro some of these old tapes via Firewire. Well, I've got some good news and I've got some not so good news. Let's get into it. In order to get the DV video into our new M1 Max MacBook Pro, we will need two Thunderbolt adapters, or as I call them, Thunderbolt gizmos. The first one takes FireWire 800 and converts it into Thunderbolt 2. The second takes Thunderbolt 2 and adapts it into Thunderbolt 3. This is how we get the DB tapes into my new MacBook Pro. FireWire to Thunderbolt 3 via two adapters. I plug in my FireWire 800 to FireWire 400 cable to these Thunderbolt adapters. I connect these adapters and my FireWire 800 to FireWire 400 cable to my 16-inch M1 Max MacBook Pro. Then I connect to my Canon camera via its Thunderbolt 400 port. Next, I set up my Canon HDV cam, getting ready for capture in Final Cut Pro. In Final Cut Pro, I open the import window and my Canon XH-A1S is recognized. I start playing the tape and hit import in the import window and Final Cut Pro starts to capture the video. I shot this DV video from a local blues show, Common Ground on the Hill in Westminster, Maryland. This is Dr. Loco. It appears that Final Cut Pro has captured the video, so I stop the import. But there is a problem. Final Cut Pro has captured the DV video without audio. Well, that's not going to work. Let's go to Plan B. QuickTime to the rescue. In QuickTime, I choose New Movie Recording and choose the Canon XH-A1S as the camera and the microphone. I also set the quality to maximum. QuickTime captures both audio and video perfectly via FireWire. I have no idea why QuickTime can capture DV video and audio via FireWire in Final Cut Pro Cant. I was also able to capture DV video via FireWire with some older Thunderbolt 2 docks that I have. I connected these to my MacBook Pro with the Thunderbolt 2 to Thunderbolt 3 adapter. And there you have it, one more thing. My name is Richard Taylor, and I'll see you the next time.